Hey guys, so I am back with another video and as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing, um, showing you guys the new foundation and concealer from Juvia's Place. Um, I did order these myself and got them myself. I did pay for them with my own money. Um, so I just picked up, um, well I took them out of the box but I'll show you guys the box. I picked up one foundation and two of the concealers. Um, I just kind of guessed with the shade. I watched a couple of my favorite um, gurus that I usually end up matching. So I kind of went with what you know shade they used on their skin and I went with that so the shade that I picked up was Burkina um, and then the two concealer shades I picked up was number six and number 13 I have a feeling that the number six concealer is probably a little bit too light to use for my contour but we're gonna see and we're gonna make it work if it if it is end up in up too if it is too light for to contour, I'll probably, and if I like it, I'll probably just go in and order a deeper shade. But nonetheless, I just want to hop right into this review. I will though tell you that there are 42 shades and they're broken down in three kingdoms. The foundation is one ounce, which most foundations are one ounce. Um, it is, it does look small, but it's still one ounce nonetheless. Um, I do like the packaging that it's in a squeezy tube. The only, I guess, drawback is that there's no C through so you can't see what color it is without actually squeezing it out um, so I wish not wish but it would have been nice if they kind of just did like a little clear um, you know just a clear part here kind of like how the Iman BB cream is like there's just some sort of clear line or clear strip so you can see the color but not a big deal to me honestly because it's for me it's not like for my makeup pit or something like that but um, the foundation is one ounce. The foundation does come in 42 shades. Um, and it does say it's a velvet matte foundation. Whatever that means, we're going to see. Um, the shade that I picked up was 310 in Burkina. Um, and it does say full coverage. Um, and it says you can use a wet beauty sponge or a synthetic brush. Um, yeah, it says full coverage, so I'm pretty interested in seeing how this works out. Um, I did pick Burkina, and we're gonna we're gonna start with that. We're gonna start there. I am gonna prime my face. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Primed and Poreless first. Um, I did already moisturize my skin, and I just used my Neutrogena oil-free acne moisturizer. Um, I use, I do really, really like that moisturizer because I feel like it really helps um, fill in my pores. So that's why I use that one. And then I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless first. And I'm just going to apply that really to my cheeks and my nose. Uh, and I kind of pat it in on my pore area because I feel like those pores around my freaking cheek right in this area are hella annoying. And I'm going to take whatever's left and just apply it on my forehead. Okay, and next, one more primer. I'm going to go in with the Matte Finish um, uh, Spray by MYX. Um, Because you guys know I like my foundation matte. And I didn't want to use too hydrating of a of a primer because this one says a velvety matte. So I'm going to assume that it's not like that stiff matte feeling. But it's somewhere in between. So I'm going to go in with a small amount. Um, so that's the shade. I'm going to go in with a very, very tiny amount. And I think I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use my Morphe uh, M4... M439 brush. I'm going to use this brush um, for Morphe. And I just went in with one dab and I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and I think this color is going to work. I love when I pick a foundation on the first try and it works. So I'm going to use that dab just for this side of my feet and buff it out. That's perfect, guys. Ugh. Yes, I love when I pick the perfect shade on the first try. And I do have a tutorial for this eye look coming up. I haven't finished it, but, um, and I did use um, a, a Juvia's Place product as well with this. This is the Nubian 3 Coral Palette that I use. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, good color I picked. I might go in and get a deeper shade though for the summer. And then I, I still have some left on my hand, so I'm just gonna 
do the other side and I'm just dabbing in once and I use one squeeze because I do not that's a perfect match oh shit I wasn't expecting that I feel like if you use a little bit you could get like a medium coverage but you can tell it's definitely made to be full coverage and then there's just a little tiny bit left on my head I'm just gonna do that and blend that out on my forehead and that's really all it takes to do my whole face that's really good wow that shade is perfect guys can you see that or not not see that <laughs> is the point so I'm just taking whatever's left and I feel like if I used um, my beauty blender, I would have had to use a little bit more product though, definitely for sure. Because your beauty um, blender does soak up some of the foundation you put on. So if you are going to use your beauty blender, you're probably going to need like two squirts of that. But with my brush, that's really all I need. I could do a little bit more just to get under my eyes, but I want to see how much the concealer covers with that. And I just want to, it feels like... I don't know, like a moussey texture. I'm trying to think of a foundation I can compare to, but like kind of like a moussey kind of texture. I'm going to go in with a tiny bit more and just kind of get like this area. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just because I used literally nothing. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit more. Not a lot, honestly. And just... Mm, okay. So now we're going to hit up the concealers. I love that these are super chunky. I don't know what it is about chunky concealers. Nonetheless, these are the two concealers. So you can tell, I feel like this is almost my same color. But we're going to make it work. And then this is number 13, which I'm going to use for my highlight. It looks like it may be a little brighter than what I usually use. But we're going to try it. But I do want to try this. I'm going to try this one out first and just see if I can use this. Um, oh no, I can kind of use this as a contour shade. It is, oh no, this is perfect. This is like a real nice, oh yeah, no, this is perfect. It is like a little, like, it's probably like one shade darker than me, but for someone who doesn't like excessively contour, this is a good shade. Oh, okay, I was a little nervous. I thought I was going to have to go back and order another one. Yo, shout out to me for picking the right shades the first go around. Like, is it wrong to toot your own horn? I'm a toot it today. I love the the applicator of this. Um. Um. Okay, this can work. It's a little brighter than I would normally go for, but this can work. It was kind of either between this or number thirteen, but I feel like I could have did number thirteen too. But this is like a very, very bright highlight. But I feel like once I use my setting powder, she'll be good. But it's not a bad color. I love this. I'm, I'm just, I just love when you pick the right things the first time around. You don't have to go back on the site and order again and wait for your stuff to come again. Um, I'm going to blend out my contour first. Yeah, sorry, daughter's here. Okay, not I like that. You know what? That shade is very like natural. It's not. It's not too much. You know, like I have some that are a little darker where I have to really be use it sparingly. Like this is one I can use a little bit and not be too much. I'm just gonna blend it out. Yeah, I like that contour. That's like, that's like, mm, it's like very natural. Not too much. Okay. I'm blend out my concealer. I'm just gonna turn this beauty blender to the, the clean side and blend that out. And I really, actually, really, really like this. Uh, okay, I can do with that. I can do with that.
this can work. Actually, I mean, honestly, this is actually not a bad shade altogether. So I'm just going to go in and kind of blend around those edges just here because I don't want it to look super bright, but this isn't bad. And I'm going. I'm actually going to be trying some, not new powders, I've tried them before. So um, it's from Beauty Bakery. Um, they came out with some new shades. Um, I already have the yellow and brown sage, which are these two. Um, and I, I don't know if you guys remember in this video, I said this tone of yellow I would have never picked up when I, when I saw in the store. And this was a little too red. Even though it worked, it works with certain foundations that I use that are like a little on the gray side or ashy side. This works for that. But they came out with two new tones. Um, this one is plantain and this one is almonds. Yeah, so I'm going to try these two today as well, um, just because, um, you know, we're doing a foundation video and JP doesn't have, you know, Juvia's Place doesn't have any powders yet, so I'm going to need something. So I'm going to go in with Plantain first to highlight on my eye, and I feel like this tone will really help tone down the brightness. So, now this that's done, alright, so plantain is a go, plantain is like the shade, now I'm going to go in with almond to set the rest of my face. Okay, so foundation's on, it's looking good, I'm loving it. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I will be back and give you guys my thoughts on the foundation. I am going to, you know, finish doing my eyes and things like that. And then I will be back and give you my thoughts on what I think about the foundation and the concealer from Juvia's Place. Okay. All right. Okay. So I finished my makeup look and this is everything after it's set. I did set my face with my NYX matte finish um, spray. Um, this is just a trial size that I had because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it's pretty decent. Um, but I used that to set my um, entire face. Um, I know you guys are going to ask about the eye look. I did do a tutorial on this. This will probably come out after this video, but I did use the Nubian 3 Coral Palette. Um, if you guys are, you know, wanting to know what was on my eyes, all the shades are in this palette. Um, I really liked how this look came out. It's super pretty, super me, just super everything. Um, and so, as far as the foundation and the concealers go, one, I want to say this is probably the first time that I have picked out one foundation, one contour concealer, and one highlight concealer and got it right on the first try. I don't know if that's props to me or if that's props to them, but nonetheless, I, I did a good job okay so um, I'm super happy with this contour shade I was super I was a little skeptical but I, because I felt like it was a little it probably was gonna match my skin tone but it is slightly darker so it gives off a very natural type of contour which is usually what I go for I don't really chisel my face and things like that so I really really like this in the summer this will probably be like my summer shade as far as like foundation shade so it'll be a little bit too dark in the or it'll probably match me identical in the summer so I probably wouldn't be able to use this in the summertime but I would definitely I mean we don't have that many summer months here in New Jersey so it really doesn't matter um, number 13, um, I do like the shade. It is a little brighter than I would normally reach for, but as you can tell, it looks super pretty, super natural. My under eyes do not feel, sorry, my under eyes do not feel like dry or anything like that. It feels very, very hydrated, which is actually pretty good um, if you, you know, you don't like those drying types of concealers, especially if you bake. Um, I actually didn't mean to bake this time, but I ended up baking, but it's not like a big deal. I still liked how the finish turned out. So now onto the 
foundation um so i'm pretty good at i was gonna do a wear test with this video and then i realized i'm actually not leaving my house i'm literally not going anywhere i'm probably just gonna leave this on for now while i cook and do things around the house um i'm really not going anywhere um but i am pretty i i love foundation i know foundation i know usually how a foundation is going to react on my skin I think I use the right products to prime underneath this. Um, it's not like a drying matte foundation, um, which is usually what I grab for. Honestly, I usually like the drier the better. Like, I'm that person. I just love a matte canvas. Like, I, I just love that look on me. I'm not like a dewy girl. I'm not like a looks like skin girl I like I like my my foundation to be matte stay matte because I do not touch up at all throughout the day okay like I don't even carry powder with me I I, I carry my lipstick with me but I don't even touch that up okay so I'm not that person who's going to be touching up with powder and all that stuff like that so usually I like a foundation that's just going to stay there and don't move okay this one it was not too drying or matte or anything like that it's kind of like a happy medium um i feel like if you do have dry skin um you would still like this foundation you just have to prime your skin a little bit differently and use more you know kind of medium to hydrating um products underneath i kind of did that i use my skin is kind of oily for the most part especially my nose like no matter what i don't care what foundation i wear my nose is going to be the first part i'm going to look in the mirror and see these little droplets on my nose it doesn't it, it never fails no matter what foundation it is i don't care how much money i pay for it, it's gonna happen I'm so surprised they came out with like some face stuff not surprised but i guess like shocked i don't know i just i'm just so happy that they did because i love juvia's place you guys know that this video is not sponsored by juvia's place none of my videos <laughs> that i talk about juvia's place ever are sponsored but i do genuinely genuinely like their stuff I buy all of their stuff myself no I don't get a commission I don't get nothing like I mean if they want to sponsor a video they are more than welcome to but I've been I pay for all of my Juvia's Place stuff myself literally I have every single palette of Juvia's Place every single every single every item that they have I have except for the brushes I don't have any of their brushes because you guys see my brush collection like I have a ton of brushes I may at some point get those two just to say that I and I have everything but everything besides the brushes I have of theirs so from head to toe lip products things like that I have all of it so <laughs> nonetheless um, I do really really enjoy the foundation really enjoy the concealers um, I like the finish of the foundation it's not super super matte it's kind of like in in between it kind of reminds me of the finish that the Fenty Beauty gives me because I really really enjoy that finish it's not super drying it doesn't feel like cakey on the skin at all like I literally still feel like I feel my skin so that's really nice um, and the foundation is really really nice you do not need a lot especially if you are using a brush if you're using a beauty blender or like you know a damp beauty blender things like that you're gonna obviously need more product because the beauty blender soaks up a lot of your product but overall um, really really good concealer um, foundation you do not need a lot concealer like shout out to you Juvia's Place for hooking it up and you know for a indie brand it's just really nice that they came out with so many shades i forgot how many shades of the concealers they have i will notate it somewhere in the video or down in the description box but for 42 shades for indian in indian brand indie brand that's really good because some of these high-end brands aren't even coming out with that much and aren't even coming out with good tones so shout out to them for doing a good job there so Thoughts on the Juvia's Place on um, foundations and concealers. Again, if you guys want to see this makeup look, then check out that video, which will be coming soon. So make sure you turn your notifications on and subscribe if you are not subscribed so that you are alerted when that video and all my other videos drop. Check out my ebook that is now available on my shop. I will have that link down below as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy this real quick kind of first impressions review. Again, follow me on Instagram just to stay updated on my thoughts on the foundation, which I will post. Um, 
as you know time goes on and things like that I will post and update you guys on that as well and yeah just to stay updated with me that's usually where I'm posting the majority of the time and yeah I will see you guys next time thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel I appreciate you guys I love you guys and I will see you guys next time bye